G'day and welcome to the show. There's an island not far from Melbourne that's twice the size of Phillip Island, two-thirds national park, has got no shopping centres or sealed roads, yet one of the world's biggest celebrities has lived here. If you're thinking French Island, you're right on the money. We get a taste of history. Oh, Lois, that's terrible. Visit an eco farm. I found two. I won the one. And discover the island's darker side. So how many escape? <laughs> 48, in fact. Well, back in Melbourne, Des lives out a dream. Permission to be nervous. There's no bridge connecting French Island in Western Port to the mainland. Visitors catch the inter-island ferry from either Cowes or Stony Point. Thank you, mate. And by the way, the boat doesn't carry cars. To see the island, you need to join a tour, use your feet, or jump on a bike. You can hire one or bring your own. First stop, the general store for the lowdown on a former resident. Hi, Gladys. Hi, Coxie. Hey, give me the goss on Kylie Minogue. Well, when she lived here, she'd always come in and order a King Island beef pie. I'd better have one of those with sauce, thanks. Yep, I'll go get one for Magnificent. you. Magnificent. There you go, Coxie. Good grief, look at the size of it. Mmm, it's a good taste. I believe Michael Douglas is showing around the island. Michael Douglas? Is everybody here famous? <laughs> Okay, he's not Michael Douglas, the movie star, but he is a Parkswick Ranger. It's hard to believe that they were going to um, have a major industrial complex over here in the 60s. That, that's what the proposal was, and a nuclear power station. Oh, great, so you get kaboom and no more French Island. Yeah, exactly. Fortunately, those ideas were ditched, and ten years ago, yeah, most of French right. Island was preserved as National Park. Oh, this is pretty nice. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? They've got some swans out there. The fight to protect the island's unique flora and fauna continues. What's the caper with no cars? Well, we're trying to limit the cars coming over. We've got a fungal disease on the mainland called cinnamon fungus. Yeah. Now, if that gets over here, that could destroy a lot of our vegetation. We've got a marine park here too, haven't we? We do, on the northern shore, yeah. And that's protecting things like seagrass meadows and all the mangroves, the fish nursery areas. So it's a no-take zone. There's no fishing allowed there, but people can boat in there whenever they want to. This is an island lost in time, with no mains power, no natural water, shopping strips or local government. In fact, it has only 80 permanent residents. That's it. That's Kylie's place. Whew, nice gates anyway. <laughs> For some island dwellers, home is in the treetops. Sure this thing works, Mick. Yeah, no, I, I can hear the beep. We're onto something here. Look, that's one. Oh, yeah. OK. The island supports Australia's largest koala community. And as the population is isolated from the mainland, they're chlamydia-free. That's the koala disease, isn't that's it? That's right. That, that affects their fertility and stops them from breeding. Because these koalas are so healthy, they're often relocated to help struggling mainland colonies. In the meantime, planting manor gums ensures there's enough food to go round. OK, Cocktie, here's your tree planter. Yeah. There's a couple of trees to get you started. Good. I've got plenty of work to do. I'll see you later. Right. Whew, I reckon I've earned a coffee break. Here you go, Coxie. Oh, thank you. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Lois, I don't mean to be rude, but that's terrible. But that's chicory. Lois Ayres is a fourth-generation islander and says chicory was the island's main source of income for 70 years. The chicory looked like a parsnip, a white root vegetable, and chicory was added into coffee when coffee was expensive or unobtainable. But the chicory root took a fair amount of processing. Down the front of the building is where the plant was washed 
and then it came up the elevator into this big section for the water to drain off and then through this slicing machine up the next uh, elevator and onto a wire mesh floor and the fire was lit underneath. Very simple process is what you say. Uh, not so, I don't believe. <laughs> the introduction of instant coffee spelt the end of the chicory industry. Thank goodness for that. Oh, you haven't finished your coffee. Oh, I don't suppose I could have a good old-fashioned cup of tea, could I? Like yes, it? you can. Oh, you're wonderful. To find out more about French Island, call Parks Vic on 13 19 63. After the break, enjoying the fruits of the farm. You're joking. Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> <laughs>